Hey guys and welcome back. Over the past 24 hours on social media there's been a couple of major Newcastle United announcers that have broken through which has sparked a reaction from Sunderland fans. I like a little mole, it's like they pop out of the ground these holes and they start piping up and they go straight back into the holes afterwards. Oh my god, it just irritated me so far since it is the international break. Yes, I will be going to the Saudi Arabia game tonight which will be a video on the channel tomorrow. But in general, I'm not doing much over the weekend, so I thought, why not? Let's enjoy ourselves, let's have a laugh, and let's talk about Newcastle, because, well, the big game next week against AC Milan, this is a big topic in the video, because that was one of the announcements that tickets are not selling well at all at the minute, so we're going to get through why perhaps that is, and what's actually going on. But secondly, that Sunderland fans have been piping up loads about was Eddie Howe's involvement in the Great North Run. So it got announced yesterday that he will be involved in the run itself he's going to be there he's going to be starting off that race and um southern fans have somehow been able to criticize that i mean isn't the most important part about money being raised for charity like how you managed to be able to get the great north one and turn it into this the castle versus southern rivalry they're just so what's the word for it I guess they're so defensive they feel so scared about newcastle now and i just don't i don't get it at all it baffles me now, um, I'm in this video today, just to, I guess, to show you what's actually been going on from them. But first off, guys, just for me, if you're new around here and you like what you watch, watching, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, that's what you enjoy. In regards to my plans this week, I think I'll let you know now, because by the international break, I guess you can technically say it's my holiday, so this is my time now where I've got a chance. If I need to, I can, I guess, have a couple of days off, I can relax, I can get ready for when Newcastle come back. But I will be at the first Saudi Arabia game tonight at St. James's Park. I'm going to be covering that, which will be on the channel tomorrow. On Sunday, I will be at the women's game as they take on Stoke City at Kingston Park. As for Eddie Howe beforehand, because well, the Great North Run will take place before that game, I have applied for media access from the Great North Run. Obviously, for me, I'm not going to lie as whatsoever. I've only applied for media access because Eddie Howe's in it. I didn't actually do that before his involvement, so... It's, it's not, I guess, the nicest way of saying it, but obviously due to the fact that Hyde's and Newcastle are involved in it, it's now, I guess, attracted interest for me. In general, I would love to compete in the Great North Run, but for me, my fitness is terrible. I'm not going to lie, I can't run half a marathon. And I, I could I could have I wanted to really push it out there, but the fact is, my Newcastle United you know, channel is just so based on the club, so it's quite hard sometimes to go a bit off topic, but I will try my best uh if we don't get media access, I, I might just go there regardless and just cover on any cast and side of things. But obviously, I have, I guess I'll, I'll be honest now, I have applied for it since Eddie Howe's got announced, which isn't, I guess, the PL is where they're applying for media for someone like that. But yeah, I want to give you a heads up there. And I'm afterwards, during the week, we'll start to get back into the motion of things as we get ready for Brentford on Saturday. But let me know your thoughts down below on my plans. Do you have any ideas you want me to do over the next week or so since I've got a little bit of free time now? But that's it. Well, further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's begin off while on the topic of Eddie Howe. Just how is his involvement with the Great North Run upsetting some Sunderland fans? Well, this has to be one of the most ridiculous takes I've ever seen on social media. Eddie Howe being involved is going to alienate some runners from even competing in the Great North Run. He's compared Kevin Keegan in the past wearing a, a shirt from both clubs, saying how it's turned into a mag fest. Like, what? <laughs> I don't get it why are they so defensive, it's just so ridiculous. So by this guy's logic, he's essentially saying if any Sunderland fan is actually competing in the Great North Run, all of a sudden now, after all the months of them running in the morning, running at night, and all of a sudden going to walk away because Eddie Howe is in it. I mean, nobody is doing that, let's be fair. Let's say as well, they're doing, they're doing a run for someone like Cancer Research. All of a sudden, they're going to not donate that money to Cancer Research now because Eddie Howe's in the race. I mean, don't be ridiculous. It's such a, a silly take. I just don't really get it because there actually was a few comments from Sunderland fans saying, I'm not running anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. I mean, the point of Eddie Howe being there is to raise interest. As I said in the intro, the main, uh, the main reason why I've applied for media is because he's there. And that's going to be the same with thousands of people wanting to report on it. Thousands of people want to get involved in it. People want to get involved because Eddie Howe is there. It's, it's just as simple as Anthony Castanet's involvement will help things out. And that's the same with Sunderland's involvement as well. Let's say the Sunderland manager was involved or while the players is involved. People on the Sunderland side of things will be interested and want to do something with the Great North Run because they're there. Uh, that's a good thing. You, you want to do things like that. You want to be interested in it. You want to donate money to charities involved. And I, and I would have to say Eddie Howe being there is a good thing. That's not me being biased. That's just me speaking the honest truth. 
The Great North Run wants interest, it wants attraction, it wants people to turn up and people to donate money to the charity, which is exactly what it's planning to do. That's the point of the run. So for Eddie Halbina, I think it's a good thing and how Sunderland fans can somehow, I guess, weaponise that into this little pathetic rivalry that hasn't took place since 2016. I just, I don't get it. They're just, they're so bitter, they're so upset how things are on the Newcastle side of things. It's just every opportunity to get to Magfest, it's this, it's that. It was like this with Sam, but now it's like this with Eddie Howe and the Great North when it's just so pathetic and I thought we'd call it out for what it is because it's getting weird now. And on to the second thing now and what Sunderland fans and also opposition fans in general have been complaining about as well when it comes towards Newcastle's current away ticketing system with AC Milan. So, so far, if you have over 20 loyalty points, you can actually buy a ticket for our first ever Champions League match in over 20 years. Around about 2,000 tickets have been sold. There are still just under half of the tickets remaining. And a lot of opposition fans are criticising today. Where all the fans at? Why are people not buying these tickets and they're just taking the mega out of us? Now, for me, you guys know me quite well. I go to every single away match. I pay a lot of money to go. I am going to Milan. I've already booked everything up. But I do have to be fair with Newcastle fans. This is one of the most expensive trips I've ever seen. If you want to stay in Milan, if you want to book flights to Milan, it will cost you over £1,000 for three days. That is extraordinary. It is so much. Now, the main concern, I think, with any European away game you have, I think one is on the airline side of things. Planes, as soon as the fixtures come out, they automatically bump the prices up. The inflation of prices due to demand is crazy. Like It is actually disgusting how expensive some of the flights are. So I had to book mine that way. Uh, trust me, it wasn't cheap. I think that's probably the first main reason why people are a bit worried about going. The second one being the ID check. So in Italy, your name's on the tickets. You have to show your passport when going in. Your ticket has to be named to you. And in the past, Newcastle had a, a problem where people with loyalty points buy a ticket and then give it a mate or they sell it on for face value. Now, the reason why they do it is because they want the loyalty point, but they can't go to the game. So instead, they let somebody else go on their behalf, which in Newcastle's ticket structure kind of ruins the balance of how they want to do things, which they have changed this season. But due to how strict the ticket structure is, a lot of people with loyalty points aren't going to the game. They would have just sold the ticket on to someone else. But now that they can't do that, they just haven't bought a ticket. This game will sell out, I will say straight away. It's going to drop to zero points. Hell, it might even drop to members. Which is quite rare for us, you guys watching this video who may not be able to go to away game. This is your perfect opportunity and it's the best of the bunch as well. I mean, the San Siro, last time we've been there was 2003. Honestly, um, you couldn't have got a better first Champions League away match and that is going to be incredible. But the main thing is, in the cost of living crisis, it will cost you over a £1,000 to go there if you want to stay in Milan. It is so expensive and I think that's why it's turned some fans away. But unfortunately, opposition fans have kind of jumped at it. Sunderland fans all of a sudden start piping up. I mean, listen, guys, you can't even sell out your games to any match, never mind a uh, Champions League away game. I mean, when's the last time Sunderland saw our match? Was it the, the Championship playoff semi final last season? All of a sudden, your little plastic fans turn up for the big game. Where did this season all of a sudden they're gone again? They went back into hibernation. They come out once a season for the big game. I mean, you guys have terrible fans. Fair players are the ones that are actually go on a weekly basis before ones that just turn kind of turn up for the big occasions. Nah, that's not all. The castle actually does sell out every single match, regardless of where it is in the country, regardless of how far away things are. And yes, okay, before the takeover, that wasn't always the case. But even then, the castle still had a pretty good sellout. We still did push towards that almost full capacity. I don't get why Sunderland fans are playing up. Listen, you guys have never, ever been to a European away match midweek before. You wouldn't know how much it costs. You wouldn't know what to do. You wouldn't know anything about it. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of time to ask for, for people that are working, for people that are, let's say, haven't got all the finances to be able to go. I mean, you've got to look at our people's circumstances. I mean, uh, I've seen, for example, West Ham fans piping up quite a bit. Obviously, West Ham won the Conference League last season. Those guys down there were selling all the away matches. But you had to look at the... Newcastle and London geographically. I mean, Newcastle is nowhere near as easy to get a place as in London. I mean, London, you can go anywhere from the airports there. Not to mention as well that in the UK, you have a higher minimum paid work in London. You make more money down there. I mean, there's all sorts of different factors politically you look into. But West Ham, I think, is much easier than Newcastle to get a game. So I don't think that's a fair comparison either. Everything fans are piping up. I mean, again, just like Sunderland. I mean, you guys haven't been... A, European football since like 2017 or so. I mean, how are you guys uh, piping up? Again, I don't get it. It's, just, it's opposition fans have find a little bit of an opportunity to try and take a dig at Newcastle. And 
I mean, in this case, I don't think it's fair. I've just put some good explanations there. Now, for me, I go to every single European match you can possibly get to. This is so expensive. Trust me, it is, it is a lot. Now, thankfully, I don't think Germany or France be that bad, but this game is one week away. Some people won't even get tickets to the next couple of days. You've got less than a week's notice to book everything up. It will cost you thousands. It's that simple. But for me, I will be going there. I thought I'd let you know now, and I thought in the top we'll go show some comments in the background of what opposition fans have been saying. They're not fair, some of them. Um, we've got a massive form of criticism because of that. But that was mainly the two topics I wanted to cover on today's video. I wanted to talk about some of the criticism that's came across towards us on social media and how in both cases i think they are unfair uh, i don't think you can't sort of fault for either of them so um i don't think it's a good idea whatsoever for some of them fans to be always on piping up again they're just so desperate to start something when in reality they're starting nothing but i want to let you know as well about the ac milan i mean for you guys watching this if you want to go to the way match get yourself to this one this is one where the tickets will actually come available for anyone that is a member or a season ticket holder and for fans this is the best you're going to get. Trust me, you'll love this. It is expensive, but it'll be worth every penny. These are memories that will last a lifetime. For me, I can't wait for it. I'm buzzing for it. I'll let you know any events in advance for the uh, Italian trip as well. I'm sure Newcastle fans are going to host meetups. They're going to meet up somewhere the day before the game. They're going to enjoy themselves, have a few beers. We've got to get some videos done down there. As soon as I get back from that, I'm going straight to Sheffield United. You can hear the play in the background. That's what I'm going to be on next week as we head across to the, the city of Milan. AC Milan, San Siro. What a start to our Champions League journey this is going to be. After that, I began to play back to Sheffield as we take on Sheffield United on the Saturday. Plenty of away games come up. I get tickets to all of them. Don't worry about it. You all enjoy yourselves. I'll be seeing you in Italy, Germany and France. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy this international break. I'm going to definitely make the most out of this. Enjoy a, a bit of a break while I still can. Busy few months coming up. But keep updated with the content. Hope you enjoy watching. Let me know if any of your thoughts down in the comment section. I'll see you all in the next one.